This is the family. Okay, Fami, this might be a stupid question in the light of everything that's been going on. But can you tell me exactly what is a fatwa? Uh, Marian, I'm not a... Uh, Keep breathing. A learned uh, scholar in this matter, but as far as I am aware, a fatwa is an opinion of a, a learned scholar of Islam and it is based on... Uh, his or her opinion, usually it's a he, uh, on a certain matter. And in most, in most places, it is non-legally binding. It is just a, a matter of opinion. And it is up to the, the ummah or the community or the group of people who live in that place, how they want to abide by or listen to or not listen to what has been said. Yeah. So actually, going by that, Every religion has got that as a principle, guiding principles, factors, which then the community or the religious organization decides to um, take action against or, you know, people who break these rules, right? Right. So why is it that, you know, now suddenly over the last maybe f few months more than ever before, there is you know, a whole kerfuffle about fatwas and more importantly, the whole gazetting and legalization of fatwas. This is quite meditative. Keep breathing. Uh, I, think, I think we need to see it in light of our conversation earlier on in the season, actually, Marian. For me, I see it as, as part of really, without being a tinfoil... Uh, you know, tinfoil hat kind of theorist. My feeling is that it's all a question of timing, isn't it? Why do they choose to publicize the two fatwas on tomboys, punkit, uh, punkits, and or, or women who dress like men, and uh, what's the other one? For, oh, no. oh yes, on yoga. On yoga. Uh, why do they choose to why highlight now? it now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the way my reading of it actually is that it's all political because in a Malaysian, in Malaysian society, I suppose, the fatwa uh, is given by the Malaysian the National Fatwa Council, uh, which is essentially, a, well, one way of looking at it is that it's a state apparatus. It's paid for by the state. So we have to ask, what is the state trying to do? And in that sense, my feeling is that it's really to drive a wedge between so-called liberal, moderate, progressive Malay Muslims within, uh, I guess, the, the Pakatan Rakyat uh, sympathizers because they want to really uh, probably try and break down all um, the relationships that are currently existing between uh, the Pakatan Rakyat uh, sympathizers. That's my reading of it anyway. Another thing that recently someone told me about fatwas is that there's a difference uh, in how they work between for Sunni Muslims and Shiite Muslims. Do you know anything about this? Actually, uh, actually I don't know. Is it? Uh? Well, apparently that for Sunni Muslims and in Malaysia we are Sunni Muslims, uh, fatwas don't exist. I mean, they they don't not not don't exist, but they are not uh, so I don't know legally binding or any kind of binding. And um, I don't know if this is true. I you know, but you obviously don't know either. Yeah, and I think that is a, a good point to bring up actually, Marian, because the whole the whole thing about fatwas is that it's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to elucidate and supposed to clarify. Instead, what we're getting is, it's just a lot more muffled. Things just appear to be more confused because of the appearance of these. Suddenly, the fatwas are here. You know what I mean? Suddenly, they've encroached upon public sphere. So, my question is, shouldn't we just educate people a lot more about 
what how it is. to be good people, basically. Just essentially, I mean, yes. Sh- and there, I'm sure there are good fatwas. I mean, we yeah. think that immediately we hear the word fatwa, we go, oh my God, oh my God, this is terrible. But, you know, looking at other religions or my own religious practice, I mean, if it's a- a- advice and guidance as to basically how to be a good person, then surely there must be good fatwas. Yeah. And and are there, like, do you, you you're, a, you're a practicing Catholic, aren't you, Marianne? Liberal, extreme. Liberal, extreme. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> practicing, practicing Catholic. So, how, what would you say are some good guidance uh, in, from the Catholic Church that, that is non-legally binding, but you think is good practice anyway? Well, you know, there's a whole lot which is the, the same for every religion. Maybe look at the Ten Commandments, basically, that's the same kind of thing which you find in... Islam, in Hinduism, you know, in, in not even in, not necessarily in religion, but in just good practice of being a good human being. Mm. But I do know that, you know, for Catholics, there are rules of the church, which say, for example, if you don't get married in the church, then you're excommunicated from the church, whatever that means, and so on and so forth. So there are, you know, these kinds of things, and there are, you know, a complicated set of reasons. And so then, as Catholics, we choose to follow or not follow. But I guess the, 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 the difference in this particular case is that eventually we believe that, okay, the church can do certain things, but then who is going to decide whether you burn in the fires of hell or not is nobody but God. Lah. And I'm sure for everybody, believers in God and non-believers at the way, I mean, surely a human, human beings cannot decide... You know, eventually there is, if you believe there is a greater, higher, whatever, then that, that decides. Yeah, I, I agree with you completely. <sighs> oh, my Lord, take it then. Okay, Fami, huh? now that you, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, keep going. Now that you have done sun salutation, at least 10 times. I don't know whether I'm doing it right or not. How do you feel? Uh, I feel I'm still an okay Muslim. <laughs> My faith hasn't eroded, not like the hills in Bukit Antarabangsa. How does your body feel? Oh, tired lah, Marian. Okay. I feel like I need to sit down on a couch. On a couch? There's no couch in the room. Well, why don't we do something about it? Oh my god, there is a couch! It's a brand new couch! <sighs> oh my god! Cool lah. Is it an Ikea or an Ikea? It's a... for me? Ah, it's, it's a... It's a Lorna. It's a Lorna. Lorna. <laughs> Here we are on a new Lorna couch for directions to the new uh, Lorna Superstore. Visit... Visit... www.poptv.net Woohoo!